What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today I am here in South Haven, Michigan, and I've never been here before, and especially to this Walmart. And I wanted to come to Walmart to see if we could find some items for profit. Also, gonna pick up some baby formula because if you didn't know, there's a baby formula shortage in the world, and we have a brand new baby, and it's affecting us. So we have to travel all over the world to find baby formula. So if you happen to see some baby formula that's happened to be gentle ease message your boy and let me know and maybe we can get a deal because you know we need some baby formula but anyways we're gonna go in here and see if we can find some baby formula and then we're gonna go to the clearance aisle to see if we can find some items for profit profit and more of that profit and don't mind the trash in my hand i have to throw these away just check out the hotel mind your business why you worry about the trash in my hand anyway but anyways we're gonna do that i don't have to have the baby with me now because we just left goodwill and katie actually was recording and i had the baby while she was recording her video so now she's about to hold the baby see she's getting the the blanket or actually that's a whole sheet that's a sheet with a name brand on it called Baby, Baby Bliss. Baby Bliss, I'm ready for a sponsorship whenever you are. Yeah, I never will rec I will never sponsor Baby Bliss because it's a sheet. <laughs> it's just a sheet. It's literally a sheet that you wrap around your body. But anyways, you don't care about that. This is a thrifting video. So we're gonna go into this, I was about to say Goodwill, but we're about to go into this Walmart, hit the clearance aisles up to see if we can find some profits and profits and more of those profits. Izzy, we're gonna find something. Perfect, perfect response. Well, I don't know. So we're gonna go here so we can find some profits and yeah, that, that, I say that enough. Profits, profits, more profits, profits. Love profits. We love profits on this channel. Yeah, let's go find some profits. So you can see right here that they do have some items on clearance in the food section. I'm just walking around to the food section area just to see if I see anything out of place. Normally they have clearance items. Nothing up here is too profitable though. So I'm just gonna keep it moving and hopefully I can find something else because I do see a clearance aisle down there so I'm gonna go see what they're talking about so it's a clearance but it's a clearance on alcohol your boy cannot be selling alcohol out here but they do got some 1800 for 1798 only saving a dollar but I'm just saying they got some gym bean right here is $55 for 47 but like I said we can't we can't we can't promote alcohol on this channel no 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 and plus can't resell it anyway legally I still find it kind of crazy that they do sell alcohol in Walmart anyway because in the South, you cannot go to no Walmart and find no alcohol. Y'all see Katie Reed's taking care of the baby while I hit up these clearance aisles trying to find some profits. Yeah, me hitting up these snacks. They got clearance on snacks. You know I'm going to check it out to see if I can take something for myself. But anyways, trying to find a real clearance aisle. I started off on Amazon, so that's why I like coming to Walmart clearance because you can sell a lot of groceries on Amazon. So sign up for FBA. You can see I walk down the end cap of each and every aisle, but I don't see a clearance aisle. Normally you could find clearance aisles at some of these end caps, so make sure that you walk. Even if you don't find nothing the first time, now you know you don't have to walk in that Walmart again and walk down all the aisles. You know that there is no clearance aisle, so yeah. As if you're crazy for wanting to hypothetically beat our child in Walmart when he's older hypothetically asking for something that Tay doesn't want to give him and then hypothetically he's going to start crying. I said showing out. My baby ain't showing out. Yeah, I said that. So walking down the undie aisle, I came across these thermals. It is summertime, but they are on sale for $5.50. And there's another pack down here for $3.50 so make sure that you check all the aisles because you never know what kind of goodie you will find especially when there are winter items and they're trying to get rid of them in the summer i did see this clearance aisle right here and i noticed this toy was two dollars or that's what the price tag said i initially thought so when i picked up the item i wanted to go ahead and scan it to make sure it could be a profitable item for me so when i look at the prices on ebay after checking the sold comps you can see that they sell fairly well you know some are selling for 30 dollars, some sold for 14 but when I went back and looked at it, I wanted to make sure, so I pulled up the Walmart app. It's always handy to have the Walmart app so you can see exactly what an item costs inside of Walmart. Because although the price tag says $2, I want to just guarantee that it's going to be $2 for me. Because a lot of things do get misplaced in Walmart. And you can see that the price is not $2. It's around 12 bucks for this item. Having the Walmart app is definitely a good thing. Because as you can see, I could have just put it in my buggy, went to go check out, and it would have been the wrong price. And that makes Brendel cry. I just want to remind you guys that this is my first time ever coming to this Walmart in South Haven. I've never been here before in Michigan. So with that being said, I did finally found the clearance aisle. 
first thing I spotted was this Neutrogenics pills. I've sold these before because I found these pills out of the bins. I want to scan it again just to see where the profit margins would be to see if it's going to be worth it for me to buy it. But they were $15 here in Walmart. The profit margins would have been like around five bucks. You're selling them for like around 20 to $30. Really not a good profit margin when you consider shipping fees and everything like that. So I thought it was a standalone, but then I saw all the rest of them down here. So I went ahead and just put the other one with the rest of them. I don't know. I mean, I don't work for Walmart, but I guess I can organize their stuff a little bit. And then I saw these dude wipes. These dude wipes intrigue me just because it's a brand that really became popular now. It could be an item that you can get in trouble selling on eBay by the Vero Strike, but you still have other options in Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and Amazon if you can sell them. But you can see there are a lot of sellers selling this item, so it may be an item that I can take my chance on. They are only $1 per box, but we must come check the sold comps. We always check the sold comps when dealing with any of these items, and you can see that they sell in different varieties and different lots. This can be a good thing. Again, they are only $1 per box, depending on exactly how I want to make my lot come up. But when I look at the profit margins again, you have to consider every fee. I just don't know. So I'm probably going to leave it behind for now. But I definitely thought about grabbing those dude wipes. I want to go check out the rest of the clearance aisle. You know, we have a baby. want to check on Pampers and just check out the random prices. Also, I want to look at things for personal use. I did notice these vacuum cleaners down here. I've always wanted those iRobot vacuum cleaners. This I thought was an iRobot, but I guess this is a different brand. It was on clearance for $300. I decided to go ahead and put that in my mental because I want to come back and take a really good look at it for my personal use again because I'm a reseller. I don't believe in paying retail for anything unless it's on clearance aisle now, especially if I know I can get a good deal on it. But anyways, I'm just really scanning and seeing if I can find anything profitable. You know, my main strategy is looking at the clearance stickers. And if I see something really cheap, then I'll make sure I'll pick that item up and scan it. Sometimes you'll completely strike out. Sometimes you'll do good. It just all depends. It's just the more stores that you hit up, the better chance that you can have of finding profits, especially when it comes to Walmart. Walmart has really fallen down over the last few months. When I come to Walmart, I really find things few and far between, especially when you hit up the same Walmarts over and over and over. I was hoping I could find something because i'm in a completely different walmart but my luck so far is eh, not really that great so i did see this lego please that was out of uh, out of place so i want to go ahead and give that a nice little scan as well as soon as i scanned it i saw the profit margin was not even going to be anywhere near something that i wanted to make but i still wanted to give it a shot anyway just to check and see if po the possibility was going to be there for profits but it's not always the case again so the name of the game is just doing a lot of scanning as well we're scanning a lot of items and sometimes we're walking away empty-handed it can get annoying but I can be working for somebody else and working somebody else's hours. So you see me scanning other items and seeing some of these items aren't even being sold on eBay. So I have to leave those items behind. I do see these wrestling figures. And if you know anything about me and the channel, I talk about wrestling a lot because I like wrestling and I watch it all the time. But anyways, with that being said, I wanted to scan these wrestling figures because I know they could be profitable. But when you see what they are worth right now on eBay, it's really not that profitable. It's probably because they are watered down. When I scan the price on Walmart, you can see that they are want seven dollars for them, which is not a bad price. But when I look at the prices on eBay, you can see they're fourteen ninety nine and twenty dollars. But when I consider shipping and everything like that, plus the eBay fees, it really wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't just be a waste of my time. The rack. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> it would be worth more than a giant semen. A rock physically cannot cook anything. A rock is not a living thing to cook anything. Like it just never made sense. You clearly haven't smelled what the rock was cooking. Yeah. I want to show you guys something real quick. So you can see that this vacuum cleaner is selling for $300 inside of Walmart, the Shark vacuum cleaner. I'll go on the eBay app and you can see that I can get it for almost the same price, but cheaper as well for brand new as well. So I can look at the new prices and see that, that most of these items are going to be cheaper than they sell in Walmart. So you can just come to the condition and check and see what people are actually selling this for. You can see I can get it for around 230, 220. I can get one brand new for around two something on eBay and free shipping. So that's just a quick lesson for you guys. So that's it for Walmart guys. Um
Yeah, so that's it for Walmart. Uh, we'll go to the house and see. We'll go to the house and go over my thoughts. Yeah, that's what we we'll do. Got you something while we were in Walmart. Okay guys, at the house, yes we did change clothes. I am in my reseller rally shirt right now, which reminds me to remind you guys that the second Prison to Profit convention is officially set for October 9th. So make sure that you go in the description box below and get your tickets and I hope to see you there. If you came last year, you know last year was fun, but this year we hope it to be a blast. Yeah, we're trying to step up our game up for this year and there are going to be more giveaways. There's going to be more cash in the bins. There's going to be more prizes for you guys to win and more profits for you guys to be able to get as well. So I definitely recommend if you missed last year's convention, you do not want to miss this year's convention. It's going to be a blast. Again, you can get your tickets in the description box below. So go ahead and click that link. And I hope to see you at this year's Prison to Profit convention. But when it comes to Walmart, we did go to Walmart. We did go sourcing. And did we walk out empty handed? No, we didn't walk out empty handed. I don't have the items that I purchased with me right here next to me because I'm in my car right now. And I really didn't buy too many items. The main thing that I really bought was the thermals that I saw. I did come away with the baby formula that we went to get initially. And I really didn't find any items for clearance. What I really wanted to get was the dude wipes. I thought that would have been the best item for me to get when it came to like how quickly the item probably would have sold. But I left it behind just because although it was only a dollar, it was in so many different variations that the variation that I would have wanted to make, I wouldn't have made enough profit because I always usually charge free shipping on items like that. And the profit margin just wasn't there with me charging free shipping. So I decided to go ahead and leave the dew wipes behind. Again, there was nothing really there that could have been too profitable for me and my profit margins. For another reseller, there's probably some good items that I left behind, like the wrestling figures that you could have probably made 100% ROI on your money, but I left them behind because that 100% ROI would have only been like $7 and I'm trying to increase my profit margins this year in 2022, especially coming into the fall slash ending the summer out. I want to make sure that my profit margins are going up and I'm also trying a new thing where I'm just like going doing a lot of sourcing and I'm going to have a death pile. You guys know how I feel about death piles. I hate having death piles, but with me having a baby, I'm considering just like going shopping as much as I can. And then once the baby gets a little bit older and I don't have to watch him as much, I can just like literally source as much as I can now with the baby. And then in the winter time, just be able to list a lot of those items. Um, honestly, I haven't listed an item in almost like two months. Yeah, it's been about two months since I've actually listed an item since the baby's been here. But I'm trying to do that strategically still making sales on eBay, still making sales on Amazon with the inventory that I searched for last year. But I know that my sales have slowed down because I haven't listed in two months. And obviously when you list, you make sales because the items that you are listing will probably sell. That's the whole strategy behind listing. But, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm going a, I'm to a get there, you know, just trying to really figure out my whole schedule with the baby. Even when it comes to YouTube, like how my videos will come out now, I've all been trying to test it. You know, I haven't been responding to a lot of comments lately and all that will get revealed here shortly. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get back to making sure I respond to you guys because I love responding to you guys. You you guys are the reason I'm here, you know. Um, my channel slowed down a lot because of the rate that I've been dropping my videos. I used to drop videos on a regular basis, but my videos have gotten more sporadic. It's hard with a baby, guys. It's really, really hard with the baby and just like life in general. But we're going to get back to what we were in last year. Yeah, we're going to start dropping more videos soon. Just have a little bit more patience with me. And if you guys continue to watch these videos and show your support, I just want to say thank you. And I apologize for not responding to my comments over the last two months, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like that. I really, I couldn't. I couldn't. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And just please smash that like button if you do not mind. It helps this channel. It helps the algorithm. It helps me to get my face out there a little bit more in the YouTube world. And so does you hitting that subscribe button. So if you're not currently subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But before you do any of that, guys, make sure that you bless somebody today because that's, that's so important. And guys, you saw me. I went to Walmart. I really didn't find too much profit, but that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. I mean, I'm, I release these videos when I don't really find that much to show you guys like 
you're going to have to hit up multiple stores. You're not just going to go to every single store and find profit. I know a lot of times we can turn on YouTube and watch a video and see resellers hit up all these stores and make all this profit, but that's not always the truth. You know, a lot of resellers are going to drop their bad videos where they don't find anything, but I just want to be as transparent as I possibly can with you guys. So that's why I always show you videos when I do good and when I do bad as well. So although we didn't find too much profit in this video, it's still a learning experience. I went to South Haven, Michigan, if I ever go back, I know exactly where I need to go in that Walmart to hit up all the clearance aisles. That So therefore, it will save me time. And it was also an experience. I mean, you want to hit up as many stores as you can to see if you can find as much profit as you can. But anyways, guys, this video is over with. I'm getting long-winded. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. Thank you guys for being a part of this channel. Hopefully, some more big things are coming soon. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave that. We'll just leave that at that. But anyways, make sure that you bless somebody today. I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.